Good day, everyone. Welcome to the new term. For today, we will be going over the ins and outs of Alex. To start, what exactly is Alex? Alex stands for Assessment and Learning and Knowledge Spaces. Alex is an adaptive learning platform that personalizes your study experience so you can focus on the topics you need to learn the most. Alex uses artificial intelligence to determine what you know, what you don't know, and what you are most ready to learn. Alex helps you progress at your own pace and truly master each topic in your course, step by step. How can Alex help you? First, Alex promotes and develops critical thinking skills. Second, Alex improves your time management skills and study habits. And third, Alex provides help 24-7 whenever you need it. How does it develop your critical thinking skills? According to a study by Stanford University, your brain will begin to form connections as you exercise your math and chemistry skills more. These connections help improve analytical thinking, which is crucial in solving complex problems. How does it improve your time management skills? You can study smarter rather than harder with Alex. Alex has two modes to cater to different learning objectives. If you want to learn new topics, go to the learn mode. Alex can recognize if you have enough knowledge and skills to learn a topic. It will only give you topics that you are ready to learn, so there is no room for frustration or boredom. Trust that Alex accurately pinpoints what you need at every point of your learning journey, and it will take you to where you need to be. The other mode that can boost your study habits is the review mode. Here you can go back to topics you have mastered in Alex that you can use to prepare for your upcoming exams. Reminder, Alex requires consistent use of one to two hours per week for you to see significant exam results. How does Alex help you whenever you need it? Alex provides you with a personalized learning experience. It assists your professor in determining the gaps in your knowledge. Alex determines exactly what you need to study and the best course of action to take in order to fully understand the material covered in this class and achieve success. Because Alex can tell if you don't truly understand the topics you seem to be doing well on, it's important that you answer the questions honestly and avoid using any third-party apps. Furthermore, don't hesitate to make errors. Alex will use these mistakes to make a more accurate and effective intervention for you. One of the ways Alex figures out your knowledge gaps is through progress knowledge checks. We'll look into these later on. Now, how do you get started with Alex? Once you register, you will take a brief tutorial on how to use the system. Next, you will complete an initial knowledge check. Its purpose is to figure out what you know and don't know, so that you can begin with material you are ready to learn. Try to answer each question to the best of your ability. It's okay if you don't know everything. Take the Alex initial knowledge check honestly and seriously so that the system can accurately measure your knowledge of the course material. If you don't, you will only be giving yourself more work. After you finish the initial knowledge check, you will see your Alex pie. This represents your current knowledge of the course. If Alex has determined that you are a master of certain topics, it will give you a credit and will automatically move your master topics to the review mode. So you can focus on the topics you need to learn in the learn mode. Your LMS may also reflect an Alex module score already after the IKC. This score is not final for as long as the deadline for the module has not yet passed. Each Alex pie slice has three sections. The dark section are the topics mastered on after a knowledge check. The light section are the topics learned in learning mode. The gray section are the topics not learned or mastered, meaning you have absolutely no knowledge on these topics. Click on Continue My Path to Begin Learning. Increase your Alex pie progress in the learn mode. Once you are in learning mode, you will see a lesson page for the first topic. Read the lesson and click on practice to complete the problems. If you need help, use the explanation button. It will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to solve the problem. Don't worry, it won't count against you. If you get stuck, Alex has tools and resources to help, including explanations and hints for each topic. One of these is the Alex Dictionary. Click on the book icon on the right side of each lesson page. The gauge in the top right corner tracks how many correct problems you need to finish learning the topic. You don't need to answer correctly in a row. Take your time answering and be patient with yourself. The goal here is to really understand each topic so you're ready to move on to more advanced concepts. If you want to work on another topic, open the topic carousel 
by clicking on the blue arrow in the top left corner. Select the new topic you want to work on, and it will switch over to the lesson page and practice problems for that topic. The topic carousel has already sorted your topics from easiest, leftmost, to the most difficult, rightmost. Some topics may be locked if you have not mastered prerequisite topics for it. Need to review for an upcoming exam? Click Review. Review mode gives you a chance to practice and reinforce topics to make sure they stick. You can access all topics previously mastered. Don't worry, it will not affect your Alex module grade. If you are unable to accomplish a module, you will not be able to see the topics under the review mode. Kindly ask your instructor for an extension to allow access to the module topics you missed. Next up, let's talk about progress knowledge checks. These are assessments you'll see periodically as you work through Alex. Progress knowledge checks are like little check-ins that Alex uses to see how much you've retained. These help Alex confirm that you're ready to move forward and apply what you've learned. If you need to revisit any topics, Alex will guide you back for extra practice. These are automatic if you have not accessed Alex for more than seven to 10 days. Since Alex is an AI-based platform, it looks at activity, what are you doing, and for how long do you use Alex, and frequency of using Alex to determine whether progress knowledge checks are necessary. These are ungraded, but take a progress knowledge check seriously as it can affect future modules. If you forgot a significant amount of topics, it may lock you out of future modules because you will need to relearn previously mastered topics again. Now, you might be wondering, how am I graded in Alex? To learn a topic means to study it, practice it, and understand it. Alex will give you credit for learning a topic when you answer several practice problems correctly without help. Some topics need only two correct answers. Some may need five correct answers. You don't have to get correct answers in a row. You can make a mistake. The key is to keep on trying and to be patient with your progress. Please note that the gradebook in your LMS will reflect the highest percentage of mastered topics by the due date. For as long as the due date has not yet passed, keep practicing and learning in Alex to improve your Alex module grades. Step one, accomplish your Alex initial knowledge check. Make sure to have a pen and paper before you start the initial knowledge check. Remember, answer honestly. The more accurate your learning path is, the better Alex will be able to help you learn and achieve success. Afterwards, you will be presented with your initial Alex Pi report. This shows your Alex progress. Your progress can increase and decrease as you answer your Alex modules. Step two, answer your Alex modules. Click the first upper left arrow to see all the topics you need to learn. Click the second upper left drop down to see your different Alex modules. Click the third topic name to switch topics. Learn all the topics in each Alex module. To learn a topic is to fill up the gauge on the upper right with correct answers. Alex is adaptive. Based on your correct and incorrect answers, you may need to answer more or less practice problems. Learning a topic will increase your Alex Pi progress. Remember, progress is not equal to your actual Alex grade. Step three, answer the Alex module knowledge check. This is automatic either after learning all topics in your Alex modules with the same deadline or after learning 20 topics. The Alex module knowledge check will convert your topics from learned to mastered if you answer the practice problems correctly. Alex will capture the highest number of mastered topics on or before the deadline as your Alex grade. Mastered topics will move from the learn mode to the review mode. Go to review mode to see all your mastered topics. If you were unable to master a topic, don't worry. The topic is still in the learn mode. You will need to relearn the topic once more to proceed. The Alex module grade reflected in your LMS is not final for as long as the module is open. Be patient with yourself and keep answering Alex before the module deadline to increase your Alex module grade. Now, we mentioned this already, but remember that if you do not open Alex after seven to 10 days from your last login, a progress knowledge check will prompt. This is automatic and ungraded. The goal of this knowledge check is to assess if you still remember your previously mastered Alex topics. If Alex has determined that you forgot a topic, you will need to learn that topic again. Take this seriously. You may be locked out of future modules if Alex determined that you forgot a significant amount of topics. 
Step four, use Alex to review prior to your exams. The review mode will show all your previously mastered topics. The review mode will not affect your Alex grade. Step five, go to the gradebook tab to see your Alex module grades. Now let's dive a bit deeper into two of the most helpful reports in Alex, the Alex Pi and the time and topic report. Use Alex reports under the reports tab to get better grades. Start by checking your Alex Pi to see which topics need more attention. Then use the time and topic report to track how much time you're actually spending on those areas and to review previously answered problems. This way, you're not just studying hard, you're studying smart. The Alex Pi is a visual breakdown of your mastery in each course topic. Each time you learn a topic, you'll see your overall progress go up. Overall progress is not equal to your gradebook score. Click on the topic name to see an example of practice problems for locked topics. Locked topics are topics you are not yet ready to learn because you have yet to learn the prerequisite information to understand the locked topic. The time and topic report shows you a detailed look at how much time you've spent in Alex and which specific topics you've covered. Click on the icons to review previously answered practice problems. If you see that you're spending most of your time on a specific topic, but still struggling with it, you'll know to focus extra time there or even reach out for additional help. Together, these reports allow you to take control of your learning. They help you make smarter decisions about where to spend your time so you can stay on top of your goals. And that's Alex in a nutshell. If Alex is not showing up or taking too long to load, it might be a browser issue. Try refreshing, clearing your cache and cookies, or switching to incognito mode. If that doesn't work, try another browser, like Chrome. And if all else fails, reach out to your instructor or our Facebook page, ID Academy Inc., or scan the QR code for FAQs. Remember to use Alex weekly for one to two hours to ace this class.